When I got asked to do the Tough Mudder, I've got a month to train for this thing. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. At first I didn't understand. I thought I was just gonna be writing about one. I was like, oh yeah, that's real easy. I can do that from a couch. And then I was like, oh, I have to do that. And I, I kind of thought it was a joke. Tough Mudder has water-filled tubes you gotta crawl through. Fire and ice water and electricity. Giant walls you need to jump off of. And most importantly, mud. I am legitimately worried. It is so far removed from being a writer and sitting around all day. In terms of exercise, my comfort zone is like stuff you could do with people 20 years older than you, like bowling. Carrying groceries home was pretty much the extent of my exercise. Anything you can do in jeans, uh, that's like my wheelhouse. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish. And even if I didn't finish, I would say I thought I was gonna finish, because you kind of have to. Because once you say you don't think you're gonna finish, you're definitely not gonna finish. So I'm probably gonna end up crying in a porta potty at least once. Oh, what we have for you today. 10 miles of total hell. We are gonna test your fitness today. Hoorah! Hoorah! I'm test your strength. Hoorah! Hoorah! Are you ready for this? I have so many fears. One is that like I'll run out of like bald spot sunscreen in the middle and just get like a screaming bald man sunburn. That's a whole other level of cold, man. That was brutal. That was, I was expecting cold, but that was capital cold. I thought my heart was gonna stop. I did wake up at four in the morning last night and was just like, what the hell am I doing? Um, you know, I'm gonna be doing this like gnarly obstacle course and everything. It just seemed like so completely bizarre. In my mind, if I don't get to the end, my parents will disown me and my girlfriend will be like, you're not even as much of a man as I thought you were, which was like, not much of a man. Josh is a really easygoing guy, and I believe that that's gonna help out a lot, especially along the way when it gets really tough, is that, you know, he's the kind of guy that can, you know, make you laugh a lot. I think uh, Ned is the perfect teammate for this because he said, you know, I only can run like two or three miles at a stretch before I have to stop and walk a little bit, and I was like, you and me, buddy, we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> We got birthed. <laughs> we, we just got birthed in a very muddy hole. We crawled down brutal. through a tunnel, ended up in mud, and then had to crawl up a different tunnel. That I saw up and I was like, oh. I don't have it. You do. You're coming up. Come on, buddy. fine tonight. I'm gonna sleep in the car. I'm bleeding, so that doesn't feel great. I think me a year ago would have never been able to do it. Like, I don't think I'm a new me now, but I think I'm the same me, just like less of a slob. <laughs> so it's like a better same me. <laughs> <laughs>